Hi, welcome to a Fusion 360 video tutorial. I've called this one here a stand. A simple stand. Why? Because it looks like a stand and it's quite easy to do. So, let's have fun with Fusion 360. Okay, first I want to define some parameters. So go to Modify, Change Parameters. And I want to add a user parameter. So go for plus. This will be the stand length. And this might be 200 millimeter. Then another one, the stand diameter. And this might be 30 millimeter. And another one, the wire diameter. And this could be 1 millimeter. And confirm, and confirm. Great. Now I need a sketch. Maybe on this plane. I need a line. Make sure it's not a 3D sketch. It should go in this direction and be 200. Click. And of course, this should be the stand length. And don't use that equal. Nice. Let's add a point here. So go for create, go for a point. Put it right there. Give it a dimension. And that distance might be the stent diameter divided by 2. And of course it should be horizontal aligned with this one here. Finish that sketch. Now in order to do a helix I still need a coil. So let's go for solid create a coil. Where is it? There you go. And the sketch has to be on the XY plane. And that will be a circle. And the diameter of this one could be 2 times the stand diameter. 2 times stand diameter. Like that. And I want to go for revolutions and height, so that I may, that that's okay. Ten revolutions, yes, and the height should be the stand length. I want to go for a triangular section, yes, to the outside, yes, and the section size might be two millimeter. And confirm. Now I want to extract that helix here. And therefore I will do another sketch on that plane here. Go for a 3D sketch and bring in that helical edge. So go for include 3D geometry and select this edge here. Finish that sketch, hide that solid, which gives me that helix. Now I need a sweep and therefore I will need a line. So go for another sketch on that plane here. That will be a line, not a 3D sketch which starts maybe right here. 
and goes in that direction and the length might be like this here and okay finish that sketch and now I should be able to make a surface sweep so go for a sweep select the profile that would be that line here the path would be this one here and I need a guide rail and that guide rail would be that line here yeah that's it it's a new body and I don't want to scale it none this looks good and confirm yes I will need another sketch for a revolved surface so maybe hide that surface for the moment and where is my first sketch there it is I could edit this one so I want to add a spline which starts right here at that point and maybe goes like this here back up again maybe a little bit over and back down maybe like that and those two endpoints should be aligned like that now let's adjust this a little bit finish that sketch and now go for a revolved surface so that would be this one the profile would be this spline and the axis could be that line or the axis so I go for that line it will be a new body yes and confirm let's take a look yeah now I want to extend it on both sides so that's extend I want to go for five millimeter in that direction and also in the other direction so this did it yeah then another extend on this edge again five millimeter that should do okay let's bring back surface one and now I want to intersect those two can I go for intersection curve I think not so I will have to go for a trim so I want to trim this surface with that one here so go for trim the trim tool will be on this one here and I want to remove this side of the surface and confirm hide that not the first one but the second one and hide that sketch now I want to use this edge here for my next sweep okay for my next sweep I will need another sketch and that would be on yeah this plane here I want to bring in that end point so go for create point not create point but go for project include project select this end point okay then put a circle right there and the diameter would be the wire diameter okay finish that sketch 
Now I want to use those edges. In this case, I can't go for a chain selection, which is kind, of, which is kind of sad. But go for a sweep. Yes, the profile would be this circle here. That one here, and the path, no chain, edge, edge, edge. Select them all, that's OK, and confirm. Hide that surface. Yeah, great. Now I want to shape that sweep with two offset surfaces. So hide that body. Bring back that that one here, and I need two offsets, so go for... This should be thick in our offset, because there is no offset. Oh, there is an offset. So, the surface... Let's take a look in which direction. And that would be the wire diameter divided by 4. That would be to the outside. And another one to the inside. Another offset surface. Let's hide this body. Go for another offset. And this would be minus the y diameter divided by 4. And OK. Let's hide the original one. Bring back that body here. And let's take a closer look. OK. So let's split it first with the outer offset. So go to solid, split body, yes. I want to split this body here, that one. The tool would be this one. And extend splitting, that's OK. And confirm. Let's take a look. Hide the outer one, that should be this one. And hide this body here. Okay. Now another split. That would be this body here, and the tool would be this surface. And confirm. Let's take a look. That's the one I want to have, and that's the one I want to hide. Great, now hide that surface body. Now I need a mirror and a circular pattern. So let's mirror this one. Maybe with the X set plane. So where to go? Create mirror. 
I want to mirror the body, yes. And the mirror plane would be this one. And I could try to join it. Let's see if it's possible. Yeah, nice. And now I can go for a circular pattern. So go for create, go for pattern, go for circular. And I want to pattern the bodies in a circular pattern, yes. Object would be this body here. And the axis would be, of course, the set axis. And let's go for full and for instances. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on LinkedIn, GrabCat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.